the Sim Series. It's the Silver Split. It's round two, and we're here from the legendary circuit, the Paul Ricards. And it is going to be an awesome show this evening. I'm on my lonesome, and we're going to we're a bit of a weird one. We're going to jump straight into the game this evening when it decides to load. And we're already halfway through qualifying. A few technical difficulties today. Have uh, a few little gremlins have creeped up on us, and uh, but we're here, and we're here uh, to get the show on the road. Well, I'm here anyway to get the show on the road, and uh, the last few drivers are completing their laps in the AM split. Let's have a little look where everyone is. And Chirabel's out on top with Fernandez, Walker, and Babawashe, Gino Birch, Val, Fernandez, Nemeth, and Taylor as the top ten in a very, very wet Paul Ricard. It's going to be a theme this weekend. Be a very interesting theme this weekend, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get through it. We've got a little bit of a headache this evening as well, so um, love in the chat will go greatly appreciated. But we're gonna crack on through it and get this job done for you this evening. I can't go about it without you guys getting some of your weekly action. Some of you rely on this to keep yourselves going, especially in the times now with lockdown and uh, some difficulties going on. Uh, that we're going to go and crack on through the broadcast itself. So, yeah. Let us know how you're getting on in the chat. The pro drivers are heading round at the moment. Uh, the pro drivers are heading round to start their qualifying. Uh, no, it's right, Julian. I'm going to crack on, try and do this by myself, see how it goes. It's going to be very stripped back. We're just going to cut between games and podiums. We might get a little webcam in later on. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So, there we go. Gino goes in second. The Pro drivers are about to start their laps. That's car number 30 crossing the line. Who is that? That's Daniel Durett. He's going to be the first driver to start a lap this evening. Let's jump on board with him then in the Lamborghini. Beast Racing Lamborghini. Heading through the, set, for, or through the first sector. And then we're going to head fire it all the way down the Mr. Old Straight. I saw yesterday some really good action in the bronze. I think it might be in race two, I believe. Uh, P1, two, and three were absolutely thundering down here. Three wide. And P4 was just creeping at the back as well, trying to get involved as well. So hopefully we get some of that action this evening as well. Obviously it's a little bit wetter than it was yesterday in the bronze split. But we'll see how it goes. Daniel Durrett then in the number 30 Beast Racing Lamborghini. Firing his way down the Michelin straight. See how he takes this corner. And probably breaking a little bit earlier. He fires into this right hand. A nice smooth line. I want to grab as much of the track as you can. Normally you want to eat as much curb as you can as well. But in this wet weather, it's going to, it's going to be tricky to find grip out there. But I think Daniel's got it pretty under control. Thank you very much, Webb, for the tier one for eight months in a row. Been here since day one. Hopefully you get to see him back on track soon enough. Yeah, well, I'll join you there as well. Daniel Durrett then comes through, goes in third, one tenth for one, uh, well, one tenth off the lead. Tukatsky comes five, one, uh, one hundredths off the lead though. Behind him in that 777 Audi, great lap in there from Sikinski. 2039 puts himself in second place. Uh, apparently he's unavailable this evening, Webby, but he's also in another Discord stream in the spectator point of view. So hey ho. Bartikus, two tenths up then. Part of, he's a Bentley scrub, apparently, is Bartikus. Had a great race with him on Wednesday evening. Oh, we've somehow started a hype train. Me with Alice McGuigan as well. Thank you very much for the sub. Hopefully you've now settled that food, the food choices. Uh, from the discussion we had last week about trying to sort Julian's food order out and his import order out and uh, managed to pick yourself up some excellent uh, refreshments for this evening. The only the only reason we're streaming this evening is that Paul Gratrix doesn't have to talk to his wife. 
essentially. I saw a message, saw a message in in the Discord that said that because there's no stream, he's going to have to talk to his wife, and we couldn't have that happen. So. Basker's currently a second up. There he is. He's come, just come down the missile straight and he's fitting his way through the ever tight and twisty third sector. Oh, it's Ash in the chat. Unavailable to help stream this evening because he's busy, but yeah, well. Hey ho, shit happens. Barkus eight temps up then coming through the last part of the sector. Where's that? Oh, he's lost loads of time coming out of there. Andrew Hearn did put in a, a bit of time. He moved himself up the order. Oh, food's being delivered on Wednesday. We'll have to get an update from Julian as well. He was going to help out this evening. Chatterjee is gonna is a second up at the moment. He's coming in to complete his lap. Moves up to. Eighth, for third in class. Got David Cox as well. A bit of a wet one for Cox this evening. See if he can get that time down in that Bentley. One point one seconds up. That's gonna be a really good improvement. Probably likely put him in the top ten somewhere, quite high up the order. Does it puts him sixth? Connell Daly, three temps up as well. He's going down the straight. A good time, the sort of place to be up and green on your delta as you're going down the straight, especially if you're gaining time as you go down there, because you're just gonna gain more and more and more as you go. So uh, it's good to see. His delta is slowly improving as he goes up. Oh, I've just looked at the corner names. They're all in French. That doesn't help. Or a card corner names in English. No, that's right, Alvaro. We'll wing it, mate. That's what we're here to do. It'll be good fun either way. Oh, there's actually not that many. Missile straight. Is it Cygnus? At the, oh, this, this is where we're going to have the classics. Me getting corner names wrong now. Especially because they're not... Okay, we've got missile straight and pitch straight. That'll do. That'll do. Bonjour, Doc Rob. Alvada, you're meant to be an RDGT representing them this evening. It's been the second race you've you've like not completed. Paul Glover will not be a happy bunny. Let's have a look further down the order. Give us obviously some names in the chat that you want to look out for, Garnstig. Three temps up in the garage 59, 188, Aston Martin. Love a little hype train style for stream. We've got, we may not go to webcam this evening as this, we're in a completely blackened room while we uh, do this broadcast. Who was that? That was Connell Daly was up seven temps. Got Long up two temps. Oh, Martin Roundtree. Is he valid? Let's have a little look. He is valid and he's 8.5, 8.6. Nope, 0.86. Oh, look at the time. Look at the gains, guys. Look at the gains he goes when it comes down the straight. He's flying at the moment, is Martin Roundtree. He's in P16 at the moment. He's on a 205.2. He needs to find 1.5. 
Come on, Martin. Commentator's curse and causes a collision as well. David Cox, seven tenths up. Sakinski's just gone pole. I saw he was six tenths up. He's just gone pole with a 203 free. David Cox, can he reply? He's got to find one whole second. He's found about eight temps so far. It's going to be close between Sikinski and Cox on pole. I think we're going to see lots of those types of incidents this evening. Good to see both Long and Cox are up. Oh, getting a little bit loose there, this Cox. Coming into the final part of the track. Through sector now, sector three now, sorry. And for the Long Wayne Cox team. Yeah, yeah, you'll get some predictions. Uh, I'll sort some predictions out shortly. I'll just go, I literally just fold up to sort this out. So we'll get some predictions in for the race. Cox doesn't manage to secure any time. Looks a little bit loose through the sector, but the the Cox Long Wang contingent. Wang is down in 30th at the moment. Uh, uh, he's an AM driver. You can just see him there at the bottom of your timing tower on the left hand side. Uh, Long is in 12th and Cox is in 6th. Andy Bahan. That's a nice looking livery there. It's actually really it's like for an in-game livery. It's really close to the uh, the cut the ACCSS custom livery we've got. Andy Bahan puts himself up into P7. I feel like we're spending a lot of time on what Cox and Long sorry, but they're both consistently up on their lap times. Alex Zach three temps up coming down the missile straight. Guard Stig four temps up at the start of his lap as well, which is good to see. Interested to see if that's still valid. Let's have a little look. It is. Bit drifty though, this guard stick. Alex Zach just lost a load of his time coming through the final sector. I do like that livery though. White Lamborghini. Oh, it is nice. I don't think I'm going to touch a Lamborghini though after my days on Project Cars 2 of it. The Lexus, shadow nerfed. Oh, no, yeah, the Shadow Realm has nerfed this Lexus now back to its original awfulness. Normally, you could drive any anyone driving a Lexus in the wet would kind of automatically top ten. But um, we see it across even the I know these guys are all the rookie guys and all the learner drivers that they we see it even at the uh, the stage of um, some of the pro guys now still catching a lot of stick for driving the Lexus, not getting be able to find the times they want. Alvin Strom done really well last week. Found himself quite high up the order at uh, Zandvoort. Is Three temps up at the moment. Needs to find 1.8 to get himself on pole. Jack Simsport member in this race is Adam Rayner, I believe. He's down in uh, 29th. You can just see that on the timing tower as well. Alvin Strom then coming around to complete his lap. 40 seconds left on the qualifying timer. Do is we'll then bring up the championship standings and wait for the server to swap over. Oh, I forgot you could see that on stream already. We'll bring that up in a second. This is... Last lap, Lando's then for everyone. Cox up four temps, five temps, even. 
Sakinski is not up on his lap. The Rhett is not up. It's just down for Cox then. Still needs to find that second. Got three temps already. I think actually Cox is the only driver up on his time at the moment. Oh, there's some guys at the back. Barkus is up down in 21st at the moment. Pop back down to him shortly. I'm not sure if he managed to cross the line in time though. David Cox uh, he must have had such a super sector three on his hot lap that he's lost all his time. Guards dig five temps up. Keeps him to getting a cast of the commentators as it's um come to know. Because every time we go and look at him, he ends up off the track somewhere. And just to pocket that that time in there. Let's go have a look at Baskers. Two temps up then. Last car. Oh, well, there's four more cars on track, but he's at the back of the train. The only one of these drivers that is up is Barticus. Barticus, some of them reminded me the other day. Four temps up. Couple of cars in his way. And I believe that's the McLaren of Round... No, Roundtree's in the pits. That's the McLaren of Strom even in front of him. Havel actually finds himself down in 26. And he's really, really strong two seasons ago, at Paul Ricard. Taking a debut win here. Can't seem to get that in today. So as Barkas crosses the line then, moves himself up to 20th. Go have a little look at the timing screen. Especially now we missed our AM driver. So the AM qualifying looks a little bit like this. Chirabal on top with Gino Fernandez, Walker and Bambawashe, Birch, Dahl, Fernandez, Nemeth and Taylor. Taking out the top 10. Adam Rayner finding himself in 14th. Wang in 15th. Haller not having a great season in silver. Really good, big success uh, in the bronze split last season. So we've swapped over already. We might not even go to look at the championship table. And the overall leaderboard. Sikinski takes pole then in the 777 Audi. Shirabal, Gino, Direct, Fernandez, Daly, Cox, Strom, Bihan, and Walker. Let's go and take you through that virtual grid walk if the game lets me. Oh, it is very wet. Come on, controller. I need to find a new cable for our controller. Are you going to work for me, Mr. Controller? There we go. We've got a little bit of controller, actually. It's very wet on that windscreen, though. Get the names up, because I haven't learnt them all yet. Pop ourselves down here, then. So, a minute 40 left on the clock before our drivers get the green light. Sikinski finds himself out on pole. Then we've got Shirabel, Gino, and Durette. When the camera starts picking itself up quicker. Then we've got Pedro Fernandez, the highest of the, the Fernandez brothers. Daly. They've got David Cox, Alvin Strom, Andy Bahan, Scott Walker, Andrew Hearn, Michelle Aspeto, Tondri Mbambawashe, Shubik Chatterjee, David Long, Ray Birch, Brian Dell, Martin Roundtree. Uh, then we've got Louis Fernandez, the brother of Peter in P5. And then we've got Barsicus Nemeth, Guardstig. And then we've got Jack Taylor, Hodge, Kube, uh, Pavel. He told me how to say his surname. I cannot remember. Oos, Zach, Shelton, Shanbury, Rayner, representing Jack Simsport, Vang, Hala, Bell, Wilson, Luke, DeRoyne, Erickson, McKenna, Allen. Good to see Gary Allen back on track. Fenari, Daly, and Ganoni at the back of the grid. And if Ganoni happens to watch the stream, it'd be really good to see him in the Discord. If he could join the Discord or make himself known to one of the staff members on there, that'd be excellent. Because then we could actually get him in your chat. Love to see that Gary Allen uh, livery back on track this season in the 66 Aston Martin. British GT check track Lamborghini there. There's the Jack Sims Sport Bentley of Adam Rayner. Really nice. The number 37 there from Alex Zach. Love that livery. And the livery from, uh, who's that, Cubay as well in the 60, in the 63 Lamborghini. Some really nice liveries in the, Aston, in the Lamborghini collection. That Aston one as well. 
garage 59 one. Cars are pulling off then. It's going to be a very wet race weekend for these guys. Silvers get consistent rain across the whole weekend. Consistent rain, consistent weather. So if it's dry in free practice, it will be dry in the race. If it be wet in qualified, it'll be wet in the race. It's all the same level of wet as well. Our goal to the drivers that get the randomness. Let us know in the chat. Oh, predictions. Predictions, Rob. Uh, create a dashboard. There we go. Predictions. And let's have a little look. We're going to go long versus chat G for the first one. Uh, long or chat G. Basically, who's going to finish higher up the order? Two minutes on that one. You can get your votes in the chat. Let us know in the chat as well who you're back in this evening to take some race points in the championship. We've got, uh, let's have a little look at the table. Shirabao is on top of tier four with Taylor and Bamba Washe, Chino and Kube all tied for third behind. I see them in tier three. We've got David Cox, Fabio Sikinski, David Long, Andrew Hearn, and Alvin Strom as your top five in the championship for the tier threes. Let's we'll see how those guys fare in the points as we go throughout the weekend. Haven't got the trusty sidekick this evening, so we're going to have to eyeball this as we go. We're going to start from the middle, see how we get through into turn one. Couple of drivers in the pits. 812. Who is 812? Veneri and Giannotti both are at the back anyway. To get any weather, I'm afraid, uh, Abelene, you need to get yourself into silver. Oh, big, big spenders. Big spenders going back in long this evening. 13,000 uh, wife coins on long to, uh, to finish higher than Chatterjee. Long starting behind him as well on 15th. We reach that Noah's Ark formation. The two by two as we head round for the start of the silver split race. This is round two of the championship series. We had the bronze split last night with Paul, Julian and Lars behind the scenes. There's 50 of you here this evening. That's amazing. I didn't expect to have more than maybe 20, 25. I've seen loads of big streamers on this evening. Here we go then. So we're heading around the final corner. Two by two. Sakinski leads us round with Chirero on in the Ferrari on the right-hand side. It looks like Chirero's had the better start. He does in things. So Chirero into first off the start. Sakinski though has got the inside line going into turn one. Let's see how these guys filter through. A two wide, three wide, four wide down towards the back. Oh, the Ferrari of, is that Daly as well? Oh, there's a tap, there's a spin, there's a collision. And we knew this was coming in the wet weather. Let's have a little look down the how the filters down through the back of the order. Everyone funneling up. Bit of a concertina effect. Oh, and the Aston Martin there has a coming together with, his, with a partner car and collects an Audi as well. That's Alex Zach off to the off to the races. Let's see, oh, Gino's off. Let's see who survived as we head down the missile straight for the first time. Looks like Sakinski's in the lead with Direct behind. So who have we lost? We've lost 
uh, the Ferrari of Shirabel. He's gone, missing somewhere. He was involved at the first corner. Jack Sim Sport of uh, Shurabik Chatterjee up into P10 then. Oh, look, all those cars fighting for position behind. Let's have a little look who's involved in that. Fernandez is involved. A little bit of battling with Pavel. Fernandez actually already gapped Cube. Oh, there's cars off left, right, and centre. That's the 712 McLaren of. Oh, not too sure. Oh, it's Nem Nemeth then. It's off down the inside track of the missile straight. Zakinski leads this round then. Already created a bit of a gap to Daniel Direct behind. Let's bring up the stewarding document behind the scenes as well so we can see who's going to get some penalties and when they get issued. Kinski then's made a 1.3 second gap already in the first lap. Here we go, and we got 14 incidents in the first lap alone. 84 about to get a slap with a 10 second penalty. That's Gino then, qualified quite high up the order. Finds himself down in 20 second now. And there's they managed to get us battling onto the back of Duret. Yellow flags all over the back of the pack. Uh, he's unavailable this evening, Rob, so he's not able to be here this evening. We weren't gonna do this we weren't gonna do the streams. I had a bit of a headache and migraine most of the afternoon. So uh, we weren't gonna do it, but then it's been a little bit better in the past couple of hours. Took some medicine. This might not see. I mean, real life stuff, but he was sat in a Discord spectating the race anyway. So, yeah, well, happens. He's a busy boy. That gap's now extended direct coming down the straight. David Long, who's still battling with Chatterjee. He's now in front of Chatterjee. So those that have back Long are looking to get himself some much-deserved wife coins. There's a big old train of cars, as expected, for the first few laps down the missile straight. Basket's up to 15th. Seeing the penalties being applied now. Let's see if any more have been added to the cars. Uh, oh, we've got quite a few. 37 is going to be a five-second penalty. 48 is going to be getting a 10 second penalty. Thirty-seven almost has a contact with 999. Oh, 48's had a bit of a mare at the start here. Who is car number 48? Uh, where are they? Oh, it's Andy Bahan then. So Andy Bahan's qualified up in ninth. Finds himself down in 35th. Oh, that was the livery I was complimenting earlier on. He's about to be smacked with about 25 seconds of penalties then. The other start, first two laps that he'd probably like to forget. So Sikinski, the only one remaining then in the first position. Then P2 and 3 have all gone, well, been washed off with the rain, unfortunately. P2 finds himself down in 14th. And P3 finds himself down in 19th. That's Shirabel and Gino. Direct battling to get a get away uh, from the Super Fernandez brothers 99 Aston Martin. He has created a little bit of a gap then. Chatterjee looking to get onto the back of Long. If he can get in that slipstream going down the straight, it could be a good overtaking position towards the end. Especially to see who has the bigger kahunas at the end of the straight. It looks like they've correlated their penalties for Andy Bahan. He's going to be getting a 15 seconds. We'll have to have a look how that gets applied later on. But 37's picked up his penalty. And so has 84. Chastity not able to get anything done down the back of there. Shirabel looking to move back up the order. Now got his eyes set on uh, Espeto, the 59 Aston Martin. Oh, they're a little bit... Getting a little bit frisky down below. Right around tree... Uh, Mbamba Washe and Hearn. Good to see some classic drivers coming back and getting their 
Getting some battling going on this very, very wet pour of cars this weekend that we've got in store for you. Crossing the line then, start the fourth lap of the race. And Bamba Washe still trying to grab onto the back of Hearn. Have a little look from front cap. Oh, it's very wet. As, oh, he looks for the inside. Can't make anything stick so far. Car's going for the early pit stop rotation. Bartikus, I've seen, is in. Gino is in as well. How's it looking from behind? Oh, he's now having his Mbamba Wash here. Now having a fleet of cars all looking to grab his slipstream. This is going down the missile straight for the fourth time this evening. Martin Roundtree being the first in line. Espresso, Shirabal, Birch, Wang, Garstick, and Pavel behind. Oh, he's looking to get the move done. He has got it done as Roundtree then moves himself up in to the top 10 positions. Uh, Rainer, no, he's, he's all right. He, started, he qualified 31st. He's up to 23rd. So he's having a better start than he would probably have liked. No, how could you have a better start than you, what you would have liked? That doesn't make sense. He's had a good start. Good start to the race. Hey, at least he's still racing the championship web. Who was that going off to the side of the track there? That was... Is that Mbamba Washe? He's asked him? No, we're on board with Mbamba Washe. I'm not too sure who it was. Scott Walker then, the rubber dinghy rapids Nissan GTR. I forgot how nice this livery looks. All the top 10 now have pretty much spread themselves out across the field. They're going to start catching though. Some of the guys that have come out of the pits. I think Sakinski's about to catch... Car number 48, which is Andy Bahal at the back of the grid after uh, penalties being applied. Brian Dahl is actually one of the closest battles on track. Dawn Fernandez, that Ferrari power over the Aston Martin Paul as he goes down the Mistile Straight, coming through the start of lap number five. Long and Chatterjee still moving up together. They're eighth and ninth. You can see quite a cl close prediction that's not over as, uh, not over in lap one. Robbie's my ideas man for the Enduros. Any any Enduros that come up, they've come out of the mind of, of Webb. Especially the one after the one we've got going on at the moment. We've got Alton Park, GT4 hours of Alton, coming up in about five weeks' time. You can get yourself signed up on the website. Website link, uh, the Discord link's there. That will take you to all the information you need to sign up yourself up. You want to take part in the GT4 hours of Alton Park. These two Aston Martins of Fernandez and Gardstig then in front. Two wide coming down the end of the Michelle Strait. That's really, really... Good to see from these guys, to be fair, to keep it there and make it stick. 27. Oh, Ray Birch. we a bit of a mare this evening. His bronze split compadres will be uh, probably reminding him of his amount of penalties at the start of race number one in the silver split. He is our bronze split manager. Was giving him a good, a stern and well-deserved talking to at the end of last night's race. Quite a few drivers after two rounds of the championship have already picked up some substantial penalties. One of them having to miss round three as well of the championship, which isn't a great thing to have after two rounds. He picked up enough BWP to have himself disqualified from the next round.
the garage 59 then aston martin is chasing down the 126 super fernandez brother uh, aston martin in front of him it's going to come down to who's the better driver in this in these identical cars Good to see there. Some people uh, still try and drive dr tracks like they do in the dry when they're in the wet. But you can see there that Guard Six lifted earlier before applying the brakes. Therefore, trying to prevent any uh, locking of the tires going into a quite a tight braking zone. That's where you get a closing distance or move because your brakes will your brakes will lock, your tires will slip, and you'll be in the back of the Aston Martin before you know it. So it's good to see then Guard Six taking some uh, much deserved experience into these wet races. Ferrari behind of Dow. I've been informed that car uh, car number 19 spun on the formation lap, so uh, we'll have to, have to try and catch that later on and check to see if that's true. He has got some damage to that front end of his. So if he has, it's a, a bit a big old spin. If that's the only contact he's had. He's got Chris McKenna, though, in the uh, Mad Panda Motorsport, number 90 AMG. Chase, oh, he's got bumper problems as well. I, mean, we've, I think we found the dodgy bumper crew, ladies and gents. Not a fan of that bright purple neon, though, up behind the bumper. He might have to, might have to sort that out. That's... Uh... That's gonna need some. That's gonna need some gaffer tape in the old pit stop. Everyone started to thin out though during the pit stop phase. Let's have a little look how long the Chatterjee's getting on. Long still holding the, uh, still holding all the power. Actually, set his eyes on the back of that GTR of Scott Walker. 16 minutes left of the race and 11 minutes left on the pit window. A lot of our leaders haven't pitted yet. We've got Mbamba Wash was the highest up. Cox has pitted now. Birch is in the pits as well. Birch can have to send a really long time in the pits, especially if he had any damage. He's got to clear that 20-second penalty that he's received through causing a collision during the start of the race. 10-second penalty for car number 10 then. What is that for? That is fails to break in time. Spinning car 100. How many other incidents have we got in here? Not a lot. We've got quite a few incidents. Not a lot of penalties, which is good to see. Car number 48 is about to get a five-second penalty, though. David Long still looking to grab onto the coattails of this rubber dinghy rapid GTR. It's a really nice-looking car, and uh, the rain is just helping that as well. It's getting a better run through the end of the first, through the exit. The missile straight closes the gap up. Him and but Long and Chachi both pulling away from Andrew Hearn them. And then Shirabao who qualified P2 on the grid. Finds and moved himself up into P10. Has also had all the benefits of the pit stops. I mean, if I was Long now, I might think consider pitting because I, he's clearly quicker. Oh, there's a yellow flag at the end into turn one. We're going to see oh, Scott Walker diving into the pit then. So that... That, for me, I would then stay out and just keep cracking on. Now I've got to go and put the time on track. Now I've got to get as much rubber as I can down on this very, very slippery surface. It is Paul Ricard here this evening. Chatterjee joining up behind him, though. We are at the halfway mark. Still a long way to go. Uh, no, so if you've got a time penalty before you pit, it forces you to serve it in the pits. If you get a time penalty at the end of the race, it gets added on. So, for example, if you were to receive, if you were to have an instant on the first lap, you then have maybe get a 5, 10, 15 second penalty. You'd have to serve that in your pit stop. So it get added on to your pit time. So your 30 seconds is the standard pit. So if you've got a 10 second penalty, you'd have to stay in the pits for 40 seconds. And then uh, if you then receive another penalty for causing maybe another collision. But at the end of the pit, uh, the, after you've pitted, then that will get added on at the end of the race. Oh, who's that in front? That's a bat marker on bat marker. That's 17 on 66, I believe. Who, where are they in the running order? I cannot see them. Where is Mr. 
Gary Allen. He has had that position taken away from him from Laszlo Nemeth then. Well, it may even be Alvin Strom actually being a bat marker. I can't, not too sure. Where is Gary Allen on the timing sheet? There he is. Who was in front of him then? So that's car number 12. Is that car number 12? No, it's got to be, yes. Yeah, oh, Strom. There you go. It's just come up in the headlights. There. Yeah. He's letting that bat marker through. Fenari in the pits. Oh, there's a backwards. That's, is that McKenna? I think that might be Chris... Uh, it is McKenna, yeah. That's popped himself round. Gary Allen then gaining the position. He needs to come and get in and get that damage cleared as he's probably suffering from not just a wet weather syndrome, but a little bit of uh, damage syndrome. Daniel Durett then takes the lead on the track. Sikinski is in the pits. Have to see where he filters out. Have a little look for the battles on track. We've got Canary on Wilson. That's for P16. Chasing down that tech, tack, or tech track Lamborghini then of Wilson. 12 minutes left to go of the race. I do have to wonder how the tyres be holding up. Oh, there's 83 is a yellow flag there. And the tech track Lambo does like give way for the yellow flag. 63 there. You can see he's struggling. Come around. That's Martin Cube then. He was doing really, really well. He's diving himself into the pits, though, after having that little bit of a spin. Roundtree in the pits. Daily Strom. Chatterjee in the pits. That Andrew Hearn. Daniel Durrett has the lead of the race on track. Daniel Durrett is uh, closely followed. Well, I say closely. 16 seconds gap between him and Andrew Hearn. Oh, who's picked up a stop and go 30 there, then, for speeding in the pits? It's someone... Towards the back end of the order, oh, it's Fenari as well. Down in P40, missed the start of the race. Apparently had, had to use the little boys' room. So missed the start of the race. Finds himself down in P40 and picking up a stop and go 30 as well for their troubles. But the order's slowly starting to pick themselves up. We'll actually finally be able to see how our prediction is looking between Chatterjee and Long. Not too sure where Long is. Oh, uh, Chatterjee's filtered out now. So as Long has pitted as well. I think they're in the same part of the track. And I think actually Long, if anything, may have jumped Walker. Because Walker had a mare in the pits as well. Yeah, it's Walker's fallen right down the order. We'll have to see how these... Let's let, let's, let's let the time and screen filter out as we go through the first time. It actually looks like either Pedro Fernandez had a shocker in the pits... Well, David Long has had an absolute storm as he's put P5, that, well, what was P5 on track? No, P3 on track, sorry. Pedro Fernandez, he's put him and Scott Walker in between himself and Chastity. So, him, so David Long and Chastity were battling for the first 15, 16, 17 minutes of this race. And during the pit stop rotation, Long has come out with a massive advantage. Around about four or five seconds, which was massive considering these guys were battling hill and toe all the way through the first 20 minutes of the race. During the pit stop phase. Ryan Dorr enters the pit lane then. Adam Raiders in as well. Car off the side of the road, I assume. That must be a back marker letting these cars go. Have a little look here at the back end of Scott Walker as he's actually chomping at the bit to get onto the back of that GTR. And Scott Walker just making it as wide as he possibly can. So the Bentley's probably not used to having to fight another big boy through this track. The Reds picked up 10 seconds of penalty as well. What was that for? Let's have a little look. Car number, car number 30. So 31 carries too much speed and spins 27. And 27, uh, the car 30 doesn't slow down for car 27 in front. It hits him from behind. Car 27 has since retired. So who was 27? That was Ray Birch. Retired from the race then. Calamity of issues then. 136 getting five second penalty. We're expecting a lot of penalties this evening. 
due to the, uh, probably the most severe conditions these guys have ever had driven before. Who's that? It's a car 59, I believe. Someone's tumbling down the order. Car 55, maybe car 59. Oh, and there's our first drive through for track limits, and it's going to go down to Espreto. It was car 55 that spun Jason Daly had, uh, having a bit of a mare at the end of the straight. He just had a little collection <sighs> alongside Connell Daly as well. Must have been Jason Day then. Who's no? Where's nine 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 on my timing screen? Well, he's had a banging coming together with someone. Not too sure who it was. Let's go back thirty seconds and have a little look. See if we can see anything on the replay. He's had a spin there. He's reversed himself off the track. Is that before or after a collision with car fifty nine? And that must have been after the collision with 59. I think this is the recovery effort following that incident. It must be the recovery incident following that. Gets himself moving again back onto live pitch. Now Durrett in the pit, Hearn in the pit. Good stuff, Garstig finds himself that 188 garage 59. Aston Marty in the lead of the race. Still yet to pit though. Last of the drivers to pit with two minutes to go. He's probably going to have to see himself in this lap or risk it for the next lap. Oh, and car number 136 getting a 10 second pit lane violation. Who is 136? That's going to be one of the leaders because there's not too many people that have pitted recently. Uh, 136 is Michael Luque then kicks himself a pit lane violation. 59 still yet to sigh of that drive through for track limits. 19 returning to garage then, having an incident coming down the street. Not too sure who car number 19 was. Have a little look. That was Haller then. Haller retiring from the race. And Sikinski's probably going to find himself back in the lead. But with a new compadre, David Cox just behind. Then we've got, I mean, this is making my mind explode. It's on a very fragile state anyway. But we've literally got a long Strom Cox as 4 3 2. If any of you noticed my team name in the gold split last week, it was Strom and Long Cox. So it's good to see those three next to each other on track. Sikinski's got about a six second advantage to Cox, who's then got another seven seconds to Sikinski, uh, to uh, Strom, sorry. And then David Long is the one looking to spoil the party. He's got a second to find to get onto the back of Strom. And if that's happened, then the reverse order of 4 3 2 will be Strom Long Cox. Oh, catches the curb then, coming around the final corner. And then all our cars have now pit then. So, guard stick into the pits. That unleashes Sikinski out into the lead of the race. Cox in second, Strom in third, Long in fourth. Fernandez, Walker, Shatterjee, Roundshi, Shirabara and Durrett will lead out the top ten. Five minutes left to go of this race. windows closed now five minutes left of the race long has does look to have the slipstream of that mclaren i think the mclaren have the bit of uh, a bit of better pull sorry coming down the street
along now all over the back of Strom. About three or four laps, maybe not even that, two or three laps left of the race. Going to stay on board with this battle. I know that I can see there's other battles bubbling across the track. One of those being between Roundtree and Chibero. I think Chibero has just taken that position off of Roundtree. Shatterjee still chasing down the back of that GTR. Going to be getting really fed up with that luminous green and white bumper of his. Still got a lot to do though. He can always stick to the back of it, but he's got to find the position. And talking to find the position, Long is still fighting for that podium paying position. He's fighting for it. This will be for the tier three podium. If he can get his hands on it, he's probably got a maybe say another two attempts after this one down the straight to catch him. Depending on where our leader is. Yeah, our leader's at the end of the straight. So we're still gonna see us for another two laps after this. We're going to head on to the penultimate lap next. Our number 59 clears his drive through. runs really wide through the final sector. It's just opening and inviting the door for Long to push himself through. Not much space, though. Not much space. Like I said, oh, leader on the final lap already then. So we are only going to have one more stab down the missile straight for these guys to get the position. See if he can get it done then. There's Carl leaving the pit. Looks like Haller leaving the pits. Really got that rear bumper of uh, Strom all over him now. He pulls out. May have pulled out a little early on Strom. Strom's now going to have to defend the inside. The very wet inside line, should I say, of the exit of the missile straight. So you're to tuck back in now because that McLaren just had more pull. I think that's going to be the last opportunity for Long to get himself on the podium. He just needed to stick even to NASCAR levels of bump drafting down the straight. Just pulled out far, far, far too soon. And unless Strom has an accident here, it looks like Sikinski is going to take the win at race number one. And Cox and Strom are going to finish out the podium. Good recovery drive to see from Gino up to 14th. Here we go then. Sikinski is going to take the race number one win. David Cox comes in behind. And who's got... Oh, there's a contact then between Fernandez, Long and Strom. And that's really spoiled the battle there for the final podium position going into the last corner. Fernandez has wanted to get involved as he could. And ends up spinning both the cars round then. And Chatterjee's going to come at home in seventh place. So let's pay out that prediction. It was long that beat finished up higher than Shatterjee did. So there we go. Those positions are going to be cleared.
any other battles further down the order. Let's have a little look. We've got Adam Rainux qualified 31st, finds himself in 18th. Brilliant drive from him. It actually looks like we've got a pack of cars towards the middle here with Us, uh, Zach and Hodge all battling for the end of the top 20. We're not going to go over to the podium this evening just because it's only I have my webcam on. We are going to go and have a little look at the championship table as the server swaps over. Zach then coming across the line to finish that race off. Let's head to the pits then and see if we can bring up the timetable and have a look at the final order. So Sikinski takes the win in race number one. Cockstrom uh, Fernandez gets fourth. I'm expecting Fernandez to low slightly lose that position with a post-race penalty. Uh, the contact with Long in the final corner. And then we've got Walker, Chatterjee, Shirabal, qualified P2. Had a bit of a better recovery. I think he knocked himself down to 20th. And caught himself back up to P8. Roundtree and Wang then in 10th. Wang had a good drive as well. Good to see that Cox, Long and Wang are all in the top 10 this evening. Michael Wang, yeah, started P32 actually. Massive improvements from a really big showing from Wang this evening. Qualified 32nd and finds himself in P10 at the end of the race. Let's go over and have a little look how the championship standings are looking on Sim Racing GP. Going to do this before the race, but didn't have time. Make that a little bit bigger so you can see it all. So this is the total championship before the start of this race. Then Shirabel was on for, in the lead of the championship with two wins out of two at Zandvoort last week, and he was so we go tier four first. He was leading tier four. Jack Taylor behind. Didn't see where Jack Taylor finished that race. Let's have a little look. See if we can find him. Did he finish that race? Did he disconnect? Oh, no, finish it down in 25th then. So maybe he's having a really, really strong showing at uh, Sandfort last week. And then we've got Mbamba Washe, who found himself in 13th the first race. Gino and Kube, Scott Walker, Brian Dale, Fernandez, Wilson and Birch. Birch, obviously, we saw retired due to having a collection of issues in the first race. Tier 3 then, Cox, Sikinski, Long, Hearn, Strom, Espito, Durrett, Cambry, Pavel and Zach for your top 10. And I think most of those had good drives. Where did Pavel finish up? Let's have a little look. Collection of drivers at the back with penalties. One driver disqualified from the session. That was before the race. Pavel finished 14th actually. Good drive from him then. Going to gain himself some some point it's actually finishing where is he one two three four five seventh in class it's going to pick him up a butt ton of points just waiting for the session to swap over and we can have a little crack at that martin roundtree picking up his first championship points as well a solid six or six championship points Let's have a look how many points that is 10 points then picking up his first 10 points of the championship it's going to move him off the bottom of the leaderboard and put him somewhere towards the middle Next week, we head to Barcelona. What's the weather going to be like at Barcelona? Let's have a little look, shall we? We've grinned for a, a warm and cloudy race then at Barcelona next week for these silver split drivers. And let's head back to the action then. We're back on the grid. Go for a little walk through the grid, see if my uh, controller's going to work. It is awesome. Didn't realise Pavel was driving a Lexus this season. A bit boring for him. Charge through the grid then. For well, the start of race number two, temperatures drop down a little bit, so hopefully our drivers have a little bit more control over their tyre temps. Oh, missing in the middle there next to Fernandez and Durrett. I'm not too sure who that is. We'll find out as we go through the order then. Let's bring up the timing chart on my other monitor so I can read off some names. Make 
sure who that is that's missing. Qualified sixth. Oh. Have a quick little look. Oh, it was Daly who's starting from the back of the grid. I believe he must have had a disconnect then. We find himself all the way back that far then. So Sikinski's on pole with Shirabel next to him. Gino and Durette, three or four. Fernandez and then Daly was there as well at the back of the grid. Cox finds himself in sixth. Strom, Bihan, Walker, Hearn. Esplito, Mbaba, Washe, Shatterjee. Then we've got Long and Birch. Dow and Roundtree, Fernandez and Bartikus. Then we've got Nemeth, Guardstig, Taylor, Hodge. Come on, camera. Cube, Pavel. Us, Zach. Schultons, Cambly. Rayner and Wang. Haller and Bell. Wilson and Luke, Darun, Erickson, McKenna, Allen, Feneri, and the double dailies at the back of the grid. That is going to be the order for this race. Turn the nameplates off because they look horrible. Horrible, chunky nameplates. Have a look, see where these cars start to roll off. New prediction. Hmm. I'll tell you what, we've got one. We've got one. This is a, this will be fan favourite against most likely winner. So will you back the fan favourite? Will you back the fan favourite or will you back the most likely outcome? What? <laughs> no. We've gone for Rayner versus Wang. As they're 30th and 31st on the grid. That is a prediction for race number two. And I'll let you into a little behind the scenes tip bit. I put Rayner loves Wang as the prediction title. And apparently that broke Twitch community guidelines. Wouldn't let me pull it. So, Rayner v. Wang. The boring police are out in full force this evening in the form of Twitch community guidelines. We could have had Daily v. Daily as well. No, the thing is, I didn't even think about that until... Oh, who's got big bucks it's on... Rub, yeah. Who has gone big bucks on Adam Rayner? I love the support. I love the backing. Like I said, you've got to back Adam. He's the fan favourite, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he's the fan favourite? No, that's not the right words. He is the fan favourite... But unfortunately, if I had wife coin, if I could give wife coins for this prediction, which I can't be in the streamer, my uh, wife coins would be on Wang for this one. I think he's just uh, he saw it. He had a bit. He had a bit. He had a big showing in race one. Did Wang? The boxers were tight on the Wang, and you could see a lot to give as he built up the positions. 32nd up to 10th in race number one. Rayner had a good race as well. Started 31st, meeting finish 16th or 17th. They're both drivers have got the potential in them to get the positions back on themselves. Actually, I could go on my phone, couldn't I, and do the prediction. Let's get the... Let's get the prediction up on the phone. There's the stream. Oh, we're well high up. So this evening, there's a lot of big name streamers streaming ACC. So I thought we would have more than like maybe 20, 20 viewers. So I'm glad to see so many of you here this evening. For some reason I can't do the prediction. Oh, I can do the prediction. And I'm going to put all of my money on... Oh, it's closed. Did time out? Oh, that's a shame. All my money would have gone on Wang. Anyway, two by two then. As we head around the orders, we're looking at the front of the pack. We're looking at Gino and uh, Sikinski, Shirabal, Gino and Duretz. Hopefully, oh, there's a spinner. Is that a Jack Simsport strategy? That is a Jack Simsport strategy spun round on the last corner. Strategy trying to have, to, is he going to get back into position? I think he has, yeah, but he did have a little bit of a spin. We've got two spinners then. Haller spun in race number one and strategy spun in race number two. We'll have to 
inaugurate them, Webby, this evening into the the foundation, the four formation of the foundation lap spinners. Sure about getting those tires warm as much heat as you can get generated on this really wet and slippy and cold track surface. Got the jump again on Sikinski. So Sikinski being a little bit more conservative off the start. And we go green then for race number two of ACC Sim Series, the Championship Series number five. And we'll see how these cars filter into turn one. See if we can get a bit of a better start. A bit more conservative from Chirabal. We're three wide behind. It looks like Fernandez is the meat in the sandwich. <coughs> Fernandez looking for the rear end of Strong. Manages to catch it. That brake marker goes absolutely flying. How are we looking back further down the order? A lot, lot cleaner, which is a lot better than what we saw around Zanfort last week. We're, oh, there's chaos further back, though. There is chaos further. Oh, why are you trying to put your foot down, Halla? That's got to be on Halla there, part of that incident. Oh, and there's a Aston Martin, a red and yellow one, off in the background. Shurabel looks to have got through the timing marker before Sakinski then. For race number two, oh, it's very, very flustered and out to the, out to the edges and using all the runoff that Paul Ricard allows you to. We head on to the Mistile straight past the very, very popular... Oh, there's a Lamborghini off to the side of the road. He was joined briefly by... Oh, spinning Bentley, I think that was. Who is that down the side of the road there? That is car number... Pass. I don't know who it was. Could have been Chatterjee. Chatterjee's falling down the order. He's trying to get Chatterjee, guys. Come on, timing screen. I think it was. Let's go and have a little look back at a replay. Go back a minute, see what we can find. Oh, he's in the wall there. He's in the walls over here, using the, a lot of the runoff. I think that is just the incident itself. Let's try and go back to live pictures. We might not be able to. No, we can't. Where was the instant then? Further down the order. Let's have a little look. Back here, was it not? That's Chatterjee and Dow. Further down. Oh, it's further down the order there. Where's who is that Lamborghini? Is that Luca? Is that Wilson? Might have been Wilson. No. Who knows? It's someone. Someone's had a mare. I think it's Wilson because I can't actually click on. Oh, I'm not too sure. Either way. It happens. Let's get back on with some live pictures then. Hopefully the replay will catch up soon and give us back our live footage. We've lost game sound as well because we're stuck in a replay. I am still here. Oh, there we go. We're back on live pictures then. So, Chirabel after one lap, leading from Sakitsky. Gino in third. So good to see that these guys have had a much cleaner start at the front of the order. Better than they did in race number one. I think that was Schultz's Aston Martin that was involved somewhat of an instant because he's towards the back of the pack now. Oh, not Walker. Where is he? I like that livery. That livery deserves more positions just for the livery. Oh, he's had a big issue. Where? What is he doing? What's he doing back here? We won't try and use a replay, but Scott Walker qualified in ninth, finds himself... All the way back down in 41st. It's unfortunate to see. But think of the overtaking opportunities. Think of the learning that Scott Walker can do in this race. He's clearly got the pace to move himself up the order. And now he's got 40-odd cars in front of him to get himself back in the top 10. 30 cars to get himself... Yeah, 30 cars to get himself in the top 10. Fernandez then. Oh, who's that? It's Mbamba Washe looking to creep around the inside as Fernandez is... Was a little bit loose coming down the missile straight. Who was our bet between? Let's have a little look at the drivers for that one. It was between Wang and Rayner. So Rayner is there. And Wang is down in 37th then. So Rayner at the moment is the far superior driver. He's got all of his experience getting himself one over on Wang. It's good to see. Jack Simsport not having a great time today. Chatterjee down in 21st. Rayner down in 33rd in the, for race number one. Yellow flag further back down the order as well. So drivers struggling to get themselves through. Oh, there's a car off as well. There's an Audi down off in front, I believe. 
Or is that Ericsson's Lamborghini? I think it might have been Ericsson's Lamborghini. Ah, oh, who knows? Oh, no, Ericsson's Lamborghini was there's a lot further back. He's gone down to the back of the grid, so I'm not too sure. Oh, is that Haller? So rough, yeah. I think it might be Haller's Aldi in front. Let's see if we can get a better view of the number. Open. Come on, Adam, get closer to him. It was Haller then, so Haller's had a bit of an off coming down the start, start finish straight. Now he's going to have to battle that all the way into the pits. Let's have a little jump up to the front of the order, see how these guys are getting on. And they've really started to thin out now. I think Andy Bahan is become a little bit of the, the cork in the bottle for the cars behind. And one of those cars behind is David Long in that Aston Martin. Let's see if he can learn from his experiences in race one with pulling out the slipstream a little bit too early. Hopefully allow him the opportunity to catch on to the back of Bahan. As Bahan runs really, really wide out uh, of Miss Charles Strait. But it's going to be very difficult. A lot of our drivers are going to... That's going to happen to a lot of our drivers this evening. David Long looking down the outside, looking down the inside, just trying to get a sniff on that yellow and red Super Ape to Corsa. Number 48 Ferrari of Andy Baham. Let's go and have a look over at the stewards document and see how it's going on. Car number 19, picking up a 15 second penalty for contact with car number 99, who then also collected car 812. It looks like David Long going for the early pit. We've got Long and Cox both in the pit together then. Oh, Daniel Durett's had a bit of an instant. Oh, there's carnage ahead. Let's have a little look what happened there then. Because it was Co it was Durett that was slow. So Durett was slow for some reason. Oh, he's caught up to the back of Strom. Let's have a little look what happens. It's happened here. Then if we go into Mbamba Washer, not Mbamba Washer, Fernandez behind. Oh, the Strom just loses it, then comes back onto the track. Fernandez tries to go down the middle. Then the rear end kicks out, kicks back into Strom again. I'm not too sure really how why Fernandez left his foot in, to be honest. But hey ho, it happens. And Direct now finds himself a cork in a bottle for Fernandez and Mbamba Washer behind. Interesting to look at an onboard with a HUD for uh, Fernandez to see how much he left his foot in there. Because from the replay, I don't know if his brakes locked or or what. But we're free wide then, coming down the missile straight. Looks as though uh, Fernandez has got the job done. But can Mbamba Washe get through the both of them? I think he can. He sent it down the inside of Fernandez, coming through down the missile straight, and he has. So Mbamba Washe then, great move from him. Picks up two positions, puts himself up into P4. Great drive in there from Tondry. Strom now then, following a couple of instances he was involved in there, down in 12th place. Good to see not too many penalties at the front end of the order so far. A few come in filtering in at the moment. Got uh, car number 19, obviously had the 15 second penalty we talked about. Car 107 or oh, 999's been in the wars. He's a uh, car 107's picked up a 10 second penalty for unsafe rejoin and making contact with car number 999. And then 177 also picking up a 10 second penalty. Direct and Bahana in the pits then. Good to see these pit rules being listened to. Yeah, 177 turns in, loses control, and makes contact with 811, giving himself a 10 second penalty as well. The Tondry Mamba Washer now managing to stretch his legs and drive away from the rest of the pack. Three Aston Martins in the fourth, fifth, and sixth position. Martin Roundtree heads up the seventh position, chasing down Espreto then. And actually, this is for second on the in the tier four or tier three podium, even. Zakinski's out in the lead. Roundtree looking to add to his. 10 points he got in round race number one putting himself up into second on the podium he's got the drive can he get the toe he's in the probably far superior and far faster ferrari down this missile straight let's see how much tug it actually gives him and he's even only getting about half the toe 
that he could possibly go for. But he's looking to stick it down the inside, coming down the exit of the straight, going into the braking zone. He's get that job done there. Nice and easy done for Roundtree. Can he get it slowed down in time, though? He can. Nice and controlled. And we've got Barkus behind, battling with Hearn for that P8 position. Oh, Hearn then loses the grip on the inside. Has to let the position go. So the Bentley, the 31, a Bentley scrub car of Genesis Spartacus moves himself up into P8. Then we've got Louis Fernandez behind. Looking to grab a position off Garstig and Birch. Birch having a better race one, two than he had race one. I believe he would have, I think he DNF'd at this, by this point in race number one. Or had a substantial amount of penalties either way. We've got a 10-second penalty for car number 10. That's going to be Steph Darun. Weirdly for Steph Darun, has an Aston Martin picture in his Discord driving the AMG. I'm not that much of a creep. I just saw him earlier on in the chat with an Aston Martin picture. David Long coming out the pits then. He's been in there quite a while. I believe that's David Long anyway. Have a move back there. Oh, as it looks like Birch getting a really bit loose. Fighting still well in well within his rights to fight for that position. And we're going to look to get another free wide as we head down the missile straight then between Garstig, Birch and Fernandez. Birch having to give those two positions up. But again, he's in the far superior powers. Oh, he's lost the toe. He's lost the great. He's lost the tail of the Aston Martin chain that's just gone flying down the missile straight. See how this Aston Martin, the other Super Fernandez brother of the 126 variety. Well, that is late, even on the way by wet stand, by dry standings, that is. But he manages to get himself through. Guard stick defending the inside line. Who is that behind them? Is, is it David Long? Is David Long then? So I'm not too sure why he's had such a... What's occurred such a substantial amount of pit time. But he's lost a hell of a lot of positions this evening. But as you can see though, something that has majorly benefited from the pit cycle is Adam Rayner. He's now put about nine positions between himself and Wang as the timing screen likes to catch itself up. So like Ray Birch diving into the pits on the inside. He does get that slowed down in time, which is good to see. And now David Long down in 38th is going to have a mission because all he, he's going to be a lap down on all these cars. But he is going to be faster, substantially faster, because we know he's got the pace in that uh, Aston Martin, the 977. Team Clifu racing liveried Aston Martin. But he is a lap down on the, all these cars. He's going to have some sort of suffering in the pit stop. Go towards the top of the order then. Sikinski, two and a half seconds away from Shirabao. Scott, is that... Ch oh, it's ra uh, how does that work? Oh, it's 25. It is Adam Rayner. Adam Rayner in front of him. Giving him the big tug down the straight. Thank you very much. Says Sikinski as he gets uh, probably a few extra attempts on his lap. Actually closed the gap, that toe, that toe has closed the gap by about half a second for Sikinski to Chirabel. Down underneath the one second mark now. And, and Bamba Washe finds himself part, still ahead of Fernandez and actually pulling away from Fernandez. Guard stick now having to catch the back of David Long. David Long, he has to give that position up because he is under blue flags, but it's going to be frustrating for David. I'm not too sure what has happened in the pit stop phase. Maybe we'll have to have a little chat in the Discord afterwards to see what has happened there because he's lost a substantial amount of positions. And 
I didn't see him get a penalty. Let's have a little look. He's not got a penalty on the sheet. Does do a good justice though. Good egg is David Long. Gives that position up. I'll say gives that position. Gives the track position up. Guard stick and Nemeth as he's entitled to. And both those drivers follow themselves, each other into the pits. And I mean, I wouldn't be one for following a driver you're battling for position into the pits. But hey ho. Each to their own, I'm afraid. 15 minutes left of the race number two then. Martin Roundtree trying to tack onto the back of this Aston Martin of uh, Fernandez. Actually, I think he's got quite a substantial gap uh, between him and the car in front. Daly then qualified for 41st. I'll say he didn't qualify 41st. He actually qualified 6th. However, he had, must have had a disconnect to start race 2 from the back of the grid. Finds himself in 10th within the pit stop cycle rotation. But actually, he's not far off the front order. He's about 20 seconds behind, maybe 25 in total, maybe closer to 30 seconds off Chirabal at the front of the race. So he is going to still be net up after the pit stop rotation. The pit stop cycle comes through. Gets past that Lexus of Cambly. Cambly having to get the... Trying to get the run down the straight. These two going two by two for position. See who comes out on top at the end then. Stephen Scott Walker looking to get a bit of a recovery drive on inside him. But Scambry has to give it over because of the, tr the the levels of grip. And we, we do see we start to see a dry line forming on the track there. You can see a little bit of a little bit of the rubber that's been left from these drivers as they've been now into their fourth session on the track. Which is going to be good because the drivers are feeling a bit more comfortable in the weather. They've now had about an hour and 45 minutes on these weather conditions on this track this evening. Half an hour free practice. Well, an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half. Because they only get 15 minutes of qualifying. Half hour free practice. 15 minutes of quality. Half an hour race race web. We're doing their 15 minutes into race two. So they've had about an hour and a half in these conditions. They've all been exactly the same conditions. Jack Taylor finds himself chasing down Andrew Durrett. Andy Durrett? It's called Andy Bahan. Daniel Durrett is chasing down. Ray Burt's chasing down Pavel. Or, 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 oh, I'm not going to bother. Sorry, Pavel. I know you'll be disappointed in me, mate. But I appreciate the work you're doing. That's enough gratitude. That's all the gratitude you're going to get from me, I'm afraid. Nemeth, Strom, and Garstig, though. We've just seen in the back of this shot. Are all battling for position. Let's jump on board with the 712 McLaren. The Nemeth Racing 712 McLaren. Laszlo Nemeth at the wheel. Needs to get onto the back of this Aston Martin of Garstig. And just, uh, of Aston Martin, uh, the McLaren, sorry, of Strom. So they can try and double team the Aston Martin of Garstig. Strom looking down the inside. Garstig defending the outside. I think Strom's got the drive then. Strom has got the drive. He's going to get the job done on Garstig. Coming through. Uh, to start, I believe, lap eight of the race. Nemeth a little bit more conservative through the first two turns. So the gap gets nice and wide. Chachi down in 30th at the moment. He's got a gap, closing down a gap on Chris McKenna. And he's going to have Adam Rayner for company as well behind him. It says on the timing screen he's got Adam Rayner behind him, but I think... Adam just had an issue. Oh no, Chachi is past McKenna. That's what threw me right off. Let's say that's not Rayner behind him, but it's McKenna's Mad Panda Motorsports AMG. So looks like those that backed Rayner to take the points victory today is gonna gonna have it have one over on Wang this evening. They've made it very difficult for me this season. 
There's a driver with the surname Cox, a driver with the surname Long, a, surname, a driver with the surname Wang, all in my split. They've made it very difficult to me. I'm just explaining to my wife how difficult they've made commentating for me this season. There's also someone called Strom as well. So we've got a nice mix of like Strom in Long Cox, Strom in Wang. Huh? Strom in Wangs, yeah, we've got that as well. Long Cox Wang, Doc Rob put in the chat. Long Cox Wang. My team name for last Sunday's race was Strom in Long Cox. <laughs> feel like Wang needs some introduction into my team name this season. Anyway, back on target. Uh, uh, Ariane Feneri is in a freeway battle here, including Jason Day, who's in, a, in an AMG sandwich. You're looking down the inside of the Roy and gets the job done, then coming down the missile straight. Nine minutes left on the clock. He's got to now get on to the back end of Haller, and Haller's looking like that... Audi has seen better days. That the gaffer tape is is struggling to hold on to the uh, bumper to the bottom of the uh, front bumper, the bumper, the bonnet. Sorry. Kinski's in the pits then as well. I think he's the la one of the last drivers to pit. Daly and Shakembri as well. Allen's just pitted. Interested to see what the outcome was of an incident involving car number 12. Both drivers picked up a penalty for that. Both 12 and 30 both picked up a 10 second penalty. Just Durrett and Strom. Louis Fernandez now on the back of Martin Roundtree trying to chase down uh, Pedro Fernandez for P10, last of the top 10. Roundtree and a Fernandez sandwich. Oh, they, yeah, they, they will probably all put themselves in the top 10 because we've got still got Daly and Canberra to pit. Lekinski's managed to pit and come back out again in the lead by the looks of it as well. Not too sure how where Chibero's gone then because Chibero was in the lead, so I assume that Chibero had a penalty. Have a little look at the incident sheet. Car is he car number 52. Oh, he hasn't, so I must have had an issue in the pits as well. Chibero comes from the race lead down into third place. He is all over the back of Gino as well. Let's go and have a look on board at that one. Nope, this one here. There we go. Oh, he's got the job done then on the 84 Lexus. But the Lexus looking to come back down the straight. He didn't get anything done on that one. It does look like he's getting the position, the, the, position, the job done even. There, words. Gino takes P2 back off of Chirabao, but Chirabao is already out in the lead of this race for a substantial amount of time. Finds himself in third after the pit stop rotation. Really interested to see how what has happened to Long. Down in 38th now. Assuming he's had further incidents from the one he's been involved in, but I think it's in the pit stop cycle. He just lost out loads of time and positions. Chirabao now really, really, really pushing to get onto the back of Gino. Doesn't like the fact that he gained that position and lost the position in the same lap. Then again, that is what the missile straight does to you. See, what we really need is, uh, for, I don't wish incidents on anyone, but we just really need Wang or Cox to be involved in the incident so that someone can take out Wang or Cox. That's what we need. That is what we need. That is the pun. That is pun dynamite for this season. If we can get that to happen, not saying to be deliberately cause any incidents, our stewards do a wonderful job. We don't need to give them any more work. But if someone can take out Cox or Wang, we can 
on stream as well. Oh, it's dynamite. Here we go then. Chirabelle's time to pay the piper and get the toe off of Gino going down the straight, especially in that Ferrari as well. Five minutes to go, so we're running out of opportunities here. So rub, yeah. Thank you much for the follow, guys. Our three new followers recently, Lucas, Bato, and Lewis. Thank you very much. Oh, Chibero getting really, really loose. This is the battle for the Tier 4 lead, then. If you're not familiar with the way that it looks on the screen, then Tier 4... And tier three of our drivers race together on in the silver championship on a Saturday night. Tier four are the AM drivers, the red badges. Tier three are the pro drivers, the white drivers. And uh, they're both on separate point structures, separate podiums. This is Gino and Chirabal battling for the lead in the tier four championship. Sikinski has about a 10 second gap over Cox, who's P2 in, in the tier three championship. Let's have a little look at our predictions going between Rayner and Wang. Rayner finds himself in 31st. Wang still in 42nd then. Every time I come to look at McKenna, he just looks like he's falling down the order. As it now looks like that yellow Lamborghini of Hodge is looking to go around the outside of the missile straight. Actually loses a lot of grip and, to, and performance. And actually it's going to give the position to Rayner. So Rayner gains himself another one, puts himself up into P30. Three minutes left to go. Uh, not that I've seen. Uh, Cox is a very clean driver. He's a very clean Cox. So I've not seen too much many instances from him. Stop giggling. I can hear you over there. Oh, it looks like Hodge wants the position back. But Rayner not going to give it to him. And that's going to set the sights of Ericsson's Lamborghini all over. Uh, wanting the, to get involved even. Allen, Ericsson, Rayner, Hodge. All drivers that have been here since pretty much season one as well. Which is great to see. These guys battling it out on a Saturday evening in the ACC Sim Series. Championship Series number five, silver split action this evening. These guys have been with us since season one, some of them. If not most of them, actually. Ericsson obviously got that 10-second penalty. That's not going to mean anything to these drivers. They're still all four of these battling for position. Adam Rayner and the big boy Bentley trying to defend the ground as best he can. He's doing an admirable job at it. And just to get a little bit of a gap on Hodge now. We're coming into the, the we're coming into the loaded area of the track though. We're coming into the missile straight. And if anything, Gary Allen is in prime position to take as much advantage of getting a three-way toe off this as possible. Oh, Hodge looking down the inside before they got on the straight. If anything, if I was Rayner, I might give that to him. So that I have then got the toe going down the straight. Oh, especially Hodge running out wide there, trying to get as much grip as well. So we're looking at this. Ericsson looking to tuck in. Behind uh, Rayner. Hodge looking to get involved as well. Allen's lost the back of them for now. Just seeing crawling into the picture now where these guys are battling. So Hodge is in the... The thing is, Ericsson's got nowhere to go now. They're on the left's off, off the track. Big boy Bentley's parking it in the middle. Which one's he going to defend from? I would probably look to defend... Oh, that is... That is... Come on, Rayner. Put your foot down, son. That is too far. Well driven there from Adam. Well driven from all four of these drivers, to be honest, though. The, the Lamborghini sandwich, just the bread just fell off of the meat. And the meat being Adam Rayner is going to have to give that position to Eric Hodge as he comes round the corner. No, but Gary Allen gets involved as well. Ericsson nearly takes a back of that golf liveried 66 Aston Martin for dinner. Ericsson loses out of the position as well. Gary Allen moves himself up in to 32nd. Hodge moves himself up to 30th. Rayner to 31st. Allen to 32nd, Ericsson to 33rd, and David Long now. Super David Long looking to get involved with this four, make this a five-way battle with just two laps left on the on the clock. I say two laps left, we've got 30 seconds left. Where is the leader? 
Ooh, this may be the last lap. I don't know if he's going to get around. It's going to be very tight as to whether we're going to get another lap or not. I don't think we are. I think this may be the last lap of the race. It's going to be two or three seconds either way. It depends how much Sakinski wants to give. Pahan looking over the back of Bartikus. He was looking over the back of him. Looks like the, the, the Bentley's had a better run out. Zakinski then coming around the, the corner for the final time. It's going to take the checkered flag for race number one and race number two in that 777 Audi of FS racing. Great drive there from Fabio Zakinski to take the win in both races. Gino is going to take the uh, AM split win. And Chiribel is going to take second. And we've got Cox and Bamba Washe, Bartikus, Bahan and Fernandez. Let's go down actually and have a look at this battle towards the back of the pack because I'm sure it's still raging on. Everyone's thinned out now a little bit towards the back of the order. Gary Allen looking to get onto the back of Adam Rayner. Any last lap Landos from any of these guys? Hodge looking to get involved with Chris McKenna. Trying to get the last, another position off of, uh, trying to put another car in between these guys. Pay out this prediction now. We're going to be optimistic and we're going to pay it out. Adam Rayner then, 87% of the vote from the community then. Gets a load of points. There we go then. These guys coming across the, around the corner for the last time. No big spins or taps or incidents. Many of these guys in race number one. That's going to end it then. Let's go and have a look at the podium screen. Sikinski takes the overall podium. David Cox, P2 in the Tier 3 podium. The Pro Drivers, Bartikus, P3. So, Cox is P2 in the podium. P3 is Bartikus. And in our AM podium, it is Gino taking the lead. Bamba Washe taking P2. Chirabal taking P3. So that is going to be it for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very short and sweet stream. Uh, we're not going to be. I've seen some of you guys voting for Drive of the Day. It looks like Martin Roundtree's got the majority of votes. So we we'll are go ahead and honour him with that. We're not going to go to a webcam screen because it's not set up this evening uh, due to the nature of this uh, stream. But thank you very much, guys, for joining us this evening. I'm going to cut to the outro and we're going to cut to the end of the stream from there. And uh, be back tomorrow. Hopefully, a bit more production value coming from Gareth Ronda and Mihai. Uh, that are going to give you the gold split action. Hopefully, I aim to keep it on track for you all and check out my team name on the night. Good night. Start ignition, count to zero. I just want to be a superhero. Oh, 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 oh. With fearless thoughts, emotions,